Up on the forward. You don't watch Ramsey and I see if he's drinking some of that tea. Oh, oh, oh. Delayed response. Or well, either he lost all fear in this hand. I didn't even shoot my gun in two ducks face. Well, I know, you're good. You're that good. What happened? I want to see the footage on that one. Really? <laughs> He's duck hunting now, man. Duck hunting. Duck hunting. Morning two was one of the mornings you live for duck hunting. We, uh, you don't really shoot the cinnamon teal at the crack of dawn like we do duck hunting up here in the States. They like to get up at daylight, drive out there to the hole, and wait on the birds to come in out of the brackish water. We just said today get an early start. We did, we got there at daylight. We waited for just a little bit. We got our tomato buckets out there floating and got our decoys put just right, a little bit left, a little bit right, let's get them just right. And then the birds started to fly and it was just, it was one of those duck hunting mornings you live for. when you flop shot that one. Ramsey? No, sir. Did you hit the one you shot no, in? sir. Come on. I couldn't miss. That's all I can say. It was just one of the mornings I couldn't miss, but it's lonely at the top. So Demon says, Ramsey, I think you're flock shooting. I said, Timmy, I'm not flock shooting. You got to pick one. Let me show you again. And I showed him again and again and again how to do it. 
Three over there, three over there. Here, prayer, prayer. I shot in front of that all bird. Right, all right, all right, all right. That's it. No more. I let I let one come. I try to be polite. I, I called him for you. All you had to do is throw your gun up and shoot. You never shoot. The bird's too close. Try to be polite. They're, they're catch and releasing. Is that why you want that cylinder bore shotgun? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the killing stick. You just screw this choke out right here and shoot with nothing. Oh, this is improved cylinder and improved modified. The killing stick. We're like thunder and lightning. We make a good team. <laughs> You must be the thunder, you know. It's the thunder and That's I'm the light. Oh, no, it's no, no action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry. No more prisoners. <laughs> oh, really? Here's Mike. I'm shooting. Well, did we shoot at the same birds again? The first one, then we each kill one on the second. So we kill three birds with four shots. <laughs> Good shoot. On the way back from the hunt too, we're, we're still just, oh man, we're great because we're a great duck hunt. We stop on a high point overlooking the, the, the river and overlooking the rice valleys. Nate disappears, you know, where'd Nate go? And we look up the top of this hill and here comes Nate flying over the top. He looks like Raiders in the Lost Ark. I'm expecting the whole Indian nation of Inca to be flying behind him with spears in hand. What has he found? Nate's our field producer. Anyway, he insisted that we come climb over the top of this big sand hill and see what he has found over there. So we told him, I said, Nate, when we get there, it better be worth climbing, because climbing mountains is hard enough. Climbing sand mountains is triple hard. My God. I told you. <laughs> Looks like Halloween. Trust me. Wait till you see what he found on the other side. up the side of this desert mountain, solid sand, not a blade of grass. The higher we get, naturally the harder the wind starts blowing. It's the middle of the day, it's blowing sand, you can't see, it's hard to walk, it's hard to see. But when we get over the top and look down in there, Inca graveyards, a valley of death where they buried these people, and the locals have been in there digging them up, trying to get the treasures out of the graves that's in there with them. It's probably the most unique thing I've ever seen in my whole life. We find these areas that, that were bare ground that have been dug up and looking for different artifacts and stuff. And that's what Nathan had found. He had found a, a, an area that had been dug up by, by whomever. And uh, somebody had found a sense of humor in reconstructing a human skeleton out of all these bones. Look at the look at the desert. Maybe they were buried where the desert down around Salt Lake is full of sea. Kathy. Yeah. You know, during it's, the warmer uh, period, the, the ocean was, I think. You know, like two or three thousand feet higher than it is now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's human hair. That's human hair? Yes. I 
we stopped back by the market, just uh, another market, the, the upscale market in the good part of, of town, to, to take another look around, to go in there and do some filming. And it was, it was just, it's fun. It's interesting seeing how other cultures live like that. Lunch today. Like fish. Being from the deep south, having grown up like I did, I, I will try anything. When in Rome, I'll try almost anything. Like a sausage that is full with blood, rice. Uh, ¿Qué más tiene? Blood sausage. Blood sausage is, is blood sausage is so popular down in Latin America. So I've tried it. I've tried it ten times, and after ten times, I realized, you know, I don't like blood sausage. I'm not eating it. This is a typical um, bread from here with sugar on the top, like yeah. pastry. Oh, leche is leche, eh, manjar de leche de uh, the sweet meal. Oh, you yeah. boil <laughs> and. Yeah. Oh, Nuclear yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good. Hacienda del Abuelo. Put that stuff right there. I've seen you to the moon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the third and last morning. We only got a few hours to shoot, and we got to pack up. We got about a five-hour trip back to Arequipa. Got to catch a plane about five o'clock that afternoon, so we're going to try to make a quick early morning shoot. We get up way before daylight, drag Elmer and them out of the bed at 3.30 again, get out there. We get out there just as it's first light. was getting set up. There was really nowhere to set up on dry ground. Where we set up was all that, uh, that matera grass, that local grass that grows had, had some nest and fallen down and was floating up in this mat, so it was kind of like standing on a water bed. careful where you step. One one false step and you're gonna go to the bottom. Great duck shoot, boy, those teal just pouring through there. We're right on the Pacific Ocean again, waves crashing right behind us. thundering hooves coming down the trail we'd walked in on, uh, which was, you know, this wide. 
and, and we look up and here comes here comes a guy driving cattle out to the rice field. We're right in the middle of it. We're shooting ducks, he's driving cattle. Just another day in Peru. I know it.